Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel. So if you are new here and you don't know who I am, I am Devendri, but most people just call me D. So today I just decided that I'd do a video about what is going on in South Africa at this moment in schools like Pretoria, where I think this is where it first started, where the learners started protesting against the racist school rules that is put against them. Like, I know the Kosa learners are actually protesting because of their being told that their afros are untidy and they should cut it or relax it. They should plait it or stuff like that. And apparently when they have braids, it is too thick, it is too stylish for school wear. So, I'm not going to talk much about this, but I'm just going to state that this is also something that applies to me because at my school I see how when you know most people have braids apparently when they put it in a bun it's too thick so they are being told to fix up their hair and stuff like that but as soon as a white learner does this there's no problem at all I don't know but okay I'm not going to talk much as I said I'm just going to play a video and then I'm not going to say nothing at the end so please enjoy the video Thank you and bye. I had recently cut my hair, so it was a small afro, and I was repeatedly called out of class by one of the members of staff. Called my hair incorrect, um, said my hair was untidy, um, not fit for school, and once threatened to cut my hair with scissors. Black girls are repeatedly pulled out of class for having untidy hair when their hair is natural, for their hair being incorrect, are constantly met with snide remarks from teachers like their hair needs to be tamed. The first thing that I would want my school to do is to open some type of dialogue where we as students are able to discuss you know what our problems are with not just about hair but also about you know pertaining to blackness as a whole being able to feel like your culture is valued in your school system I'm disappointed. I have no. 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 I now they are trying to, to introduce a policy that says black students must uh, be subjected to a straightening of hair. We are really opposed to that. We are seeing that the, from the 3rd of August, uh, the ugly head of uh, racism is actually busy rearing its ugly head again. And therefore we are here to condemn that. Even, even that policy, before they even try to implement it, we are going to stop it. We're just here to support the girls. They are doing what we were too scared to do. We were. We were pushed down, literally, and they threatened us with all sorts of things like not writing our metric exams just for speaking out against the injustices. And from the outside, now we can see how oppressive this was, and we just want to stand with them and, and support them all the way. From our Girls High Peoples, we know the struggle. We've been there. Um, we've been oppressed in class, and we've only realized that we've been oppressed um, a few weeks ago after those girls came out. Um, 
I remember in grade nine, um, we were told by a specific teacher that we shouldn't speak our township languages in class. Um, we were told our afros were too big, our braids shouldn't be uh, bigger than one centimeter in diameter. We were told a lot and we are here to fight for the girls that are still in the school because if we don't, then who will? You know 